we had three exhibitions. We did a trilogy about the concept of sacred uh, and about the porosity between the profane and the sacred. And this third exhibition, that is the end of the trilogy, is happening in a desacralized church. And it's about this about exploring this theme of desacralization and what does it mean to several artists. So we ask them, what does it mean for you uh, to have this desacralized architecture? And they interpreted it in their creations. We start from the theme of desacralization and then we decided to develop a site-specific installation that try to answer about the liquef liquefaction of uh, iconic chandelier, the classical chandelier. So we take our technologies of fabric flexible light and we decided to develop to fill the void of this uh, church that actually is not a church anymore because it was used as a church but nowadays was used uh, like a basketball field or some other. Hello, hello. The design of uh, this chair is inspired by the oracle bone script. It's an uh, ancient Chinese calligraphy art which disappeared over a thousand years already. And uh, the character of a uh, human is um, the symbol, it's just as the same as the shape of the chair. And we use this concept to make the shake. And then we use the ash wood for making this chair. And then we use the Chinese lacquer and to coating it. And then coating it like 15 layers, then polish it to make it like oriental style. Our project is called Origo, that means uh, the origin, and its, uh, its shape is taken from the ancient baptistry in Italy. Uh, they always have an octagonal form because eight uh, is a sacred number, and um, it's made in marble. Uh, we choose marble because uh, it's, it's the typical material in which uh, churches and uh, uh, sacred objects were made, made in. Um, it, was, it was about using this uh, concept of a kind of floating plane of light or a temple of light that would um, glow and elevate and this idea of this space being desacralized was the perfect opportunity to explore this kind of 
what would a, an ethereal object look like? Something that looks like it's kind of a, come from the heavens, like a spaceship has landed. So um, by creating this glowing effect, we kind of wanted to play on what, what a temple structure might look like in stone. Our product, is, the name is Duzhi. Duzhi is uh, something like uh, very strong in Ukrainian. All our furniture, all uh, what I do, all of my uh, inspiration is uh, from Ukrainian culture, Ukrainian nature and Ukrainian roots. Our craftsmen, Ukrainian craftsmen, they put their heart, their feeling in our product, in our items, and you can feel this.